Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. Um, it's been a while since I've talked or posted up because honestly, been a bit busy, but other aspect is, is watching the Mets getting swept by the Mariners, I was not a happy camper. Uh, quite honestly, the fact that they barely put up any runs and they were getting shut out the first two games and like barely got a run in the first game. I mean, like everyone was saying, it's like, hey, you know, like towards the uh, All-Star break. Not even the All-Star break, towards the trading deadline. Like, hey, the Mets, you know, hitting. is The offense has woken up and all this stuff. But I was like, I thought it was more of a case where like it, dep it, it, it was not dependent on the team that they were playing, but more so the pitchers that were they were facing against. Facing against. The pitchers that they were facing against weren't as great compared to who the Mariners are. So that was, like I said, my thing was in the beginning, I said the Mets should have been sellers from the beginning. I wish I was wrong on that. I'm, I'm hoping to be wrong, but I knew full well this team was giving you false hopes. I was like, okay, maybe they can make you possibly even catch the uh, Phillies. I'd, I'd love to see them catch the Phillies. But it didn't happen. And I knew that was going to happen. And this is the you know the Mets. You're a Mets fan, you should know. So the real question comes down to is this. Did the Mets... No, not the Mets. The Mets. Did the Mets make a mistake by not being sellers? I mean, getting Blackburn worked out in the long term. You know, worked out in the short term a bit. But at the same time, it's one of those things where they didn't give up much for Blackburn, which is great. But... Honestly, their farm system is still weak, and they still have no pitchers in the farm system. Everyone wants to say Buto and Scott. No, that's not entirely true. Those two, it, it, they could be. It, it, it could be a hit or miss. Quite honestly, it could be definitely hit or miss. These are not the guys like this. Is not a Degrom. This is not a Harvey. This is not a Wheeler. This is not a uh, Syndergaard, which turned out to be a, a blessing in disguise at one point as well too. I think this is a case where it might not work out. And sadly, the pro sad part is, is like they could have gotten some prospects for Severino. They could have gotten some prospects for Quintana. They could have gotten some prospects, definitely gotten some prospects for Alonzo. Had they traded Alonzo, I know he's a homegrown and he's a favorite. But the thing is, is like if you saw an article a while back when he was on in a slump, he's, I mean, Granted, it's great he had the confidence, but he was so arrogant. He's like, well, look, I'm on pace to get 40 home runs. Not what, from my standards, it looks like he was on pace to get 33 home runs. Granted, it's still 30 plus, but at the same time, you if you're expecting to make billion, you know, like to be one of the highest paid first basemen, you better damn well as produce at that point. And quite honestly, if he starts producing late in the game, I mean, honestly, it might it might not matter at that point because the Mets will be out of the out of the uh, out of the playoffs at that point. And I did, I did say this basically. Look, if the Mets do not, they were, put it this way, the Mets were one or two losing streaks away from being out of the playoffs. And that's what's happening. They are now literally out of the playoffs. And granted, now they're a game away from the last wild card spot, but this is the Braves. They are six games away, six games uh, behind the Diamondbacks. And the Padres. I was afraid that these two teams were going to get red hot, which it happened. They got red hot. This, for some reason or another, towards the middle of towards August and September, these two teams get red hot and they make the playoffs. The Braves, everyone's like, well, like Acuna's not there, so like the chances are, you know, like the Braves might not make it. You know, like they might slump here and there. They're going to slump, but the reality is, is like. Historically speaking, look at it, look at the way the you know for the past four years at least. Look at where how they played towards the middle. Yeah, in the middle towards the end of, but more so towards the tail end of August and September, they get red hot and they make you know they either overtake the first place or two they get into the wild cards with the top wild card spot. So. This is a concern. It's like, unless the Mets start hitting and start seriously hitting, this is not going to work for them. I hate to say this, but the Mets are pretty much done. And I, I wish the Mets were sellers. They should have became sellers, but they didn't, unfortunately. So that was the sad part about it. Um, had they become... Had they gotten some players in return, I would have said yes. This would have been perfect. But you know what? It wasn't. They didn't really improve as much as I thought they could have. I mean... 
more so not sure for the short term, but more so for the long term, meaning they could have gotten some serious prospects. But if if the Mets organization was thinking that this team possibly could make the playoffs and go far, then they should have like traded off some of their prospects for some players back. But there weren't that many sellers and there was a high demand. And that's why I was afraid because the fact is that there was such a high demand for players, rental players for that matter. The Mets were in the position where they could have dangled Alonzo for some serious people. They could have dangled Severino for some serious prospects. They could have dangled Quintana. They could have dangled... Uh, I'm not sure who else. Um, I hate to say this, but Scott, uh, you know, uh, Scott and Budo, Scott being injured. Everyone's like, oh, Senga coming back. I, He's not your ace. He's not an ace. He's not an ace. Stop thinking that he's an ace. Just because he was good as a Mets, go put him on in any other team. He's not an ace. He's a middle to the back of the end rotation guy. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. Um, he's not a Shoei Otani. He's definitely not a Shoei Otani, put it that way. So this is one of the things where I wish the Mets had made were sellers, but they're not. Unfortunately, I'm repeating myself over again, and I'm probably going to still repeat myself over again. I'm hoping I'm wrong, but put it this way. The next three games, well, actually, the next uh, six games they're playing, the Athletics and Marlins, they should be able to sweep those two teams. The Marlins and Athletics, they should be able to sweep them. That technically speaking, they should be able to, considering that these are subpar 500 teams. The Athletics not doing so well. Marlins not doing so great either. They should. They are like on the bottom dwellers practically. They should be able to sweep them. Now, the rest of August is going to be interesting when they go against the Orioles, Padres, and Diamondbacks. Now, the real question is: is like this will tell you if you're a Mets fan. And you're hoping for the playoffs. This would t- tell you if the Mets can come out winners against the Orioles, against the Padres, and against the Diamondbacks, taking two out of three for each of them, or uh, three out of four for the Padres, uh, or maybe even uh, you know split. If they can do that, then that shows okay. Maybe the Mets might be competitive till the la- you know till the final days. For the uh, playoff spot. But reality is. I don't think they are. But we'll see what happens from that perspective. Uh, And honestly. Outside of that. I hate to say this. But it's one of those things where. I I wish the Mets. We'll see what happens with the Soto. With the Soto. uh, uh, Free for all basically. For the free. Soto bidding basically. If the Mets can get Soto, that'd be that that'd be top notch, and you know then you definitely have to keep Soto and Alonzo. But I'll leave it at that. Um, please uh, hit the like button if you like this content. If you don't like it, it's up to you. I'm 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 leaving it up to you. Um, but if you do like my content, do like my videos, do like my channel. Please subscribe if you have to subscribe. If you do like more of me talking about baseball or ranting about the Mets, and more so. Uh, and any sports New York sports related teams please lo- like it like this uh, video so that I can focus more on that versus other stuff like you know tech stuff or whatever it may be uh, I'll leave it at that um, as always I you know, please leave a comment in the comment section and relate to this and I do respond to them when they want a response uh, I'll leave it at that unfiltered unedited and of course always unrehearsed until next time